important question belongs to grade CAC 2023 and the subject name is discrete mathematics. So the question states, let x be a set and 2 to the power x denotes the power set of x. Define a binary operation delta as follows, a delta b equals to a minus b union b minus a. Let h equals h equals to 2 to the power x comma delta. It is an operation, delta is an operation. Which of the following statements about h is are correct? Option A, H is a group. Option B, every element of H has an inverse, but H is not a group. For every element A belongs to 2 to the power X, the inverse of A is the complement of A. For every A belongs to 2 to the power X, the inverse of A is A. So let us analyze the operation first. So what is the operation? A delta B equals to A minus B union B minus A. Let us analyze this by using the Venn diagram. Suppose we have A like this and B like this. Then what is A minus B? A minus B is this region. And what is B minus A? B minus A is this region. So we can easily see that this operation delta is equal to our XOR operation. And let us see what all things this delta will satisfy. So we know XOR op operation definitely satisfies. It will be closed for sure. So what is the meaning of close? Which means if we are applying delta operation then the result will also belong to 2 to the power x which will for sure belongs to the 2, 2 to the power x as 2 to the power x is the power set of x has and has all elements like suppose if x is a comma b then what is power set of a it has phi a b and a b it has all the things that can occur on the op elements of x so thus it will be closed for sure so closure property is satisfied now let us see uh, associativity property. We know this XOR operation is associative. AXOR BXORC is equal to AXOR BXORC. So we can easily see that it is associative as well. Now let us see the third property which is existence of identity. So what is an identity element? Any item E can be said to be an identity for an operation delta if A applied with the operation with the identity gives the same element. So what can be the identity? Let us uh, see if phi can be an identity or not. So what is A delta phi? So A delta phi equals to A minus phi union phi minus A. So A delta phi, what is phi subtracted from any set will give the same set so we will have a and anything subtracted from phi will give phi so we will have a delta phi equals to a so inverse identity exists identity exists and what is identity phi is our identity now let us see whether an inverse exists or not and what is the inverse for an item so what is the inverse suppose we have a then the a inverse is any item a inverse let us suppose uh, write it as x x is the inverse of a is inverse of a is any item such that a up, up, when delta operation is applied on a and x then it gives a so what can be the inverse can the inverse be the same item or it can be the complement as we have two options the inverse of a is a or the inverse of a is the complement of a so let us do inverse of an item to be the same item so we will have a minus a union a minus a. So what is a minus a? It's phi union phi. So a delta a equals to phi. Sorry, here it would be a delta x should be equal to the identity element. Then x will be called the inverse of a. So a delta a equals to phi and phi is the inverse. So inverse exists and inverse is the same item. Why the inverse can't be the complement of an item? I will show you. Uh, okay. Suppose we have a delta a complement. So what will be its value? Its value will be a minus a complement union a complement minus a. So a has. So what is a complement? A complement has everything that a do not have. So what will be a delta a a complement? So a complement subtracted from a will give a. And A subtracted from A complement will give A complement. What is A union A complement? It is universal set, which is not equal to our identity element phi. 
Thus, a complement is not an inverse for a. So, what all options are correct? As it satisfies closure, associativity, existence of identity, and existence of inverse. So, H is a group for sure. Every element in A, every element in H has an inverse, but H is not a group. False as H is a group. For every A belongs to truth power X, the inverse of A is complement of A. No. The inverse of A is A. Yes. So, it was MSQ question. And the answers are option A and D.